Now we will try to solve this question and in this question we will pay special emphasis to the idea of making equation. We will solve the equations as well but that is trivial part. We will try to look at the point that how the equations are made. This question appeared in the civil services examination in uh, you know UPSC in 2003 sometime it appeared in the mathematics part at that time there used to be mathematics you know mathematics used to be a part of the GS question paper. Uh, the pattern has changed now, but this had appeared. Now uh, let us let us look at the question. There is a guy called Rajan who got married 8 years ago, right? He got married a long time back, 8 years ago. His present age is 6 by 5 of his of the age at which he got marriage, uh, uh, got married. So his current age is 6 by 5 of the age at which he got married. So, uh, you know it has increased now of course, because everybody's age increases. Uh, now he has a sister, the question is not about her, the question is about the sister. He has a sister who was 10 years younger to him at the time he got married. When Rajan was getting married, then his sister was 10 years younger to him. So now the question asks you that you have to tell the current age of the sister a fairly simple question. We should try to, you know, we can uh, have a number of variables here. We can assume Rajan's age to be x, sifter's age to be y or something like that and try solving it with, it with two variables. But as I have told you earlier, it is always better to keep the variables at the minimum. So, let us try it with just one variable. Let us say we only assume, uh, let us say uh, sifter's age you know, or Rajan's age, anyone's age we can assume. But you know in such questions, uh, it is very important for you to understand, you know what happens is that when you assume something to be x and you start solving the equation, then uh, you get so excited the moment you get the value of x that suppose you, for example, you know, I am not solving it as of now, suppose you get the value of x to be 20, just, just an example. Right. Then suddenly you will feel so excited that if the answer has let us say options A20, B24, C27 or D30, then you will immediately mark 20 as an answer. Now the problem arises when you have assumed Rajan's age to be x. So the age x that you have found is actually the Rajan's age. But the question is asking you the current age of the sister. So, if you assume something, you know, one thing is being asked that is the current age of the sister. If you assume this as x, then there is no problem. The moment you get x, you get the answer. But if you assume something else to be x, then there is one more step left. Suppose Rajan's age is 20, x is 20 means Rajan's age is 20. And sister, you know, we know if 10 years younger. Somebody who was 10 year younger to me at the time of marriage will still be 10 years younger, right? If your brother or your sister is 5 years younger to you, you know, and then 20 years later also he or she will be 5 years younger to you only. So, the age difference does not change. So, if Rajan is of 20 years, then the sister will be of 10 years. So, this answer is going to be a wrong answer. Please remember that. So, let us assume, you know, let us do it this way only. Let us assume Rajan's age to be x. Let us assume Rajan's current age, you know, we, we, we have to know Rajan had two ages, one currently, one at the time of marriage. So, let us solve this equation now. Uh, we will say Rajan's current age is x, let us assume that, right. Now, we know uh, Rajan's age, you know, uh, when Rajan got married, then what would be his age? You know, I will write it as marriage age. 